Good evening. Welcome to Hampton College. What I am about to say shouldn't take more than a few hours, so please make yourselves comfortable as I take you through the 400 slides of my PowerPoint presentation. Thanks, Mr Gilliam, but I reckon we'll take it from here. Yes, it's our school and we're going to show the Year Sixes how awesome it is. But don't worry, Mr G, we'll let you have some time for your presentation at the end. In the meantime, come on in! and it helps you know your way around. In Blue Block, a math, science and design technology. Green Block has PE, more science and achievement support. Between green and purple we have our amazing library. In Purple Block there is ICT, languages and drama. In Orange Block we have English, Geography, RE and History. So usually tonight you'd be able to come into all of our amazing classrooms and meet teachers and students as well as see your lessons in action. On this occasion though, because of super annoying coronavirus, we'll have to show you around as you follow us. Let's start in here. There's always something fun going on there. So on the left hand side here we've got a fitness suite. Open the door, you can see that the fitness suite is fully equipped with spin bikes and treadmills and weights. And as you get older and go further up the school, you would have more access to this to develop your own personal training programs. So we're going to go further down the corridor and into what we call our small gym. The small gym is what we use for dance lessons and table tennis, if you can see they're set up um, from a lesson this morning. And we would do for example, into house games like dodgeball in here or some indoor cricket and sometimes some indoor football. So this is what we call our small gym. But you would certainly access that during year seven um, and again, a little bit more as you go through the school. So as you can see, main sports hall, I'm really proud of this facility. We were teaching here basketball, indoor cricket, gymnastics, indoor football or futsal. And at the minute we're using this space for our health-based PE programme. Um, so we do lots of things in here, and obviously in Year 7 um, you would have access to this. I love PE. Where next? I think we should head up to maths and see what they're doing. Teaching maths is built on the concept of mastery and makes strong use of electronic resources such as Hegarty Maths. The teachers really help you understand what you're learning, so don't worry. We love the fact that all students get the opportunity to express ourselves through art, music and drama for the whole of Key Stage 3. The arts faculty is always busy and produces concerts, musicals and exhibitions to showcase the talent that we have at Hampton College. They're hugely popular in GCSE as well. Hi, I'm Mr Copping. Uh, I'm the Head of Music here at Hampton College um, and we're really looking forward to seeing you all join us um, next year. We do absolutely loads of stuff in music that you should find really exciting. Loads of playing, uh, drums, pianos, ukuleles, guitars, all that kind of thing. We've got a lovely computer suite where you can learn how to create music uh, for things like film soundtracks and stuff like that. As well as that, we've got loads of extracurricular things. So there's choirs you can join and orchestras and bands and all that kind of thing. We do shows, we do concerts, and we also do a lot of instrumental lessons. So if you're interested in learning any instruments, we do lessons in voice and guitar and piano and bass and cello and flute, you name it, we do instruments uh, and lessons on those instruments. So it'd be really good to see you here up in the music department, getting involved, doing lots of exciting stuff. Um, and we look forward to seeing you in September. What's the music teacher's favourite crisp? How should I know? Quavers! And on that note, let's go on to step 
We follow a rotation of subjects in technology that allow us to experience wood and metal work, product design, textiles and food technology. It is a hands-on curriculum that allows us to design and create tangible products that we can feel proud of. We are lucky to have specialist facilities that allow us to bring, begin to learn about programming, coding and creating computer games and to develop skills in using electronic resources to support our learning in other subjects. I love technology, especially food tech. Yeah, it's great. And speaking of that, let's go show our amazing food in the country. The food here is really, really nice. It's a lot better than my primary school. The staff are really nice too. They make sure we know what we're doing and stop people from pushing in. What do you think the year would like to go see next? How about the humanities? That means geography, history and RE. Wow, that's a lot of subjects. Hello Year 6, my name's Miss Knowles and I'm Head of the Humanities Faculty which covers History, Geography, RE and Personal Development or PD. My specialism is history and in Year 7 we're going to take lots of those skills that you've been developing in Year 6 and we're going to expand them. We start with an introduction, so our Year 7s have just been doing some lessons about continuity and change and then we start with the Normans and the Battle of Hastings in 1066. It doesn't matter if you have or haven't heard of that, we teach you all the knowledge and skills that you need and we go through a lot of British history in Year 7 and by the time you get to Year 7 you'll have gone through all the Tudors as well and we finish with Elizabeth the first. I'm really looking forward to seeing all of you in September to 2021 and enjoy year six. Well we could go and see some other subjects like sociology, psychology, criminology and business studies but unfortunately they're only GCSE and A level subjects aren't they? They all do sound very good but maybe we should go see English. We studied that straight from year seven. English lessons are really fun. We read loads of different types of texts. It's not all reading and writing though. And in English, we often do activities that involve speaking, listening, or even drama. English isn't the only language we learn either. Bonjour, je m'appelle Madame Alima. Guten Tag, ich heiße Frau Williams. We are part of the Modern Foreign Languages Department at Hampton College and in Year 7 you will be studying French and we very much look forward to meeting you. A wiedersehen! Au revoir! Well, so I guess that's it. I mean, what other subjects could the Year 6 is want to see? Yeah, I feel like we're missing something. What could it be? I mean, what's behind this door? Um. We study the three branches of science biology, chemistry and physics. We use practical experiments to develop our understanding of the world around us and are taught by experts with a true passion of developing scientific knowledge in young people. So this is our school and we love it. We gutted we haven't been able to show around this year. Well, uh, we hope we've given you a flavour of what school's like and what we get up to. There's loads more to say about Hampton College, but Maybe that's best left to Mr Gilligan and his 400 slide PowerPoint presentation. I'm really glad he has cut it down this year though. Let's see if we can zoom back into him. Give us a minute. Wow, how fantastic were those guides. Our, our fantastic students and I hope you enjoyed their talk. Now, um, over to my presentation now and I can assure you I've managed to cut it down from 400 slides. So I have a handful of slides that hopefully will give you more information about Hampton College um, and why we think this is such a special place. So in the next few moments, I, I'm going to explain our values and what we stand for and take you through ultimately what I think your child will be able to do at Hampton College and what the, uh, outcomes they'll, need, they'll leave with. At the end of the presentation, we'll explain how to apply for a place, um, whether you're a member of our Hampton College primary phase or if you're from another school. And ultimately, I hope, having watched this presentation, uh, you, you'll be able to decide whether you think your child will be happy at Hampton College. Well, we have values, and they are our values. We've got many values, but I've 
but in bold, that we value people. Because people, as you've seen in our uh, tour of the school there, that people are really at the heart of Hampton College. And we try to encapsulate all that we believe in, in our motto, progress, partnership and pride. And that underpins everything we do at Hampton College. So I'm going to refer to all, to all of those, to the three elements of the motto uh, in turn. And I'll start with progress. We have a well-earned, well-established reputation for excellent outcomes. Over the last four years, our GCSE results have seen significant improvements. In 2018, we had our best results in four years. In 2019, we had record-breaking individual performances, and we've been expecting our best results ever in 2020 for some time and our students did achieve our record-breaking outcomes. As I say, the trend is up, upwards, and as a result of that, our sixth form is bigger than ever. Just a, a, a selection of some of our results this summer. With 78% of our students achieving a grade four in English and maths, and 57% a grade five in English and maths. The grade four being the old C grade, the old pass, standard pass, a grade five, a strong pass. Nearly one third of our grades were grade seven or above. That's a, an old grade A or above. And 81% of our grades were, were grade four in all subjects. And amongst that were some absolutely phenomenal individual performances, which you would have seen in our press release uh, and on our website um, after the results day in August. Now it's not just all about attainment, all our students come with different targets and I'm equally as proud, if not more so, that the majority of our students achieved their targets or surpassed their targets. Meaning that the majority of our year 11s last year made more progress than is or was expected. For A-level, our results are traditionally very impressive. We, every year, achieve positive progress at A-level, and we have had national recognition. Last year, we received the SSAT National Award for progress at A-level, and we've been listed in the Alps directory for performance of, of departments over the last two years. We've had some exceptional performances this year with students achieving A stars and A at A level. Again, results are strong and are improving. And as a result, our reputation in the sixth form is very, very strong and students are travelling to Hampton College from, from outside catchment resulting in record numbers from within Hampton and from outside. As a result of these excellent outcomes, this year saw uh, many, most, the majority of our students achieve, uh, reach their university of choice, with 18 students going to 11 Russell Group universities to study courses such as medicine, veterinary medicine, Biomedical science, law, mechanical engineering, accounting and finance, computer science, I could go on. Many, many different academic and vocational courses. We're really proud of the progress of our students at Hampton College. Here are some quotes from some of our parents uh, and governors. Now, as this is a virtual presentation, I'm sure you could pause and have a read of those, I won't read them out to you. So how have we achieved such excellent progress at GCSE and A-level? Well, we have a broad balance of appropriate curriculum. We ensure our curriculum covers all 
national curriculum requirements, but we make sure it's appropriate for our students. Students are able to choose the, the courses that they wish to pursue at GCSE and A-level. We put no restrictions on them. There is individual choice and preference at, at, in year nine and in year 11 when they make their choice. The learning resources at Hampton College are excellent. We're fully staffed with subject specialists teaching their own subject area. Our recruitment and retention of staff is excellent. We don't struggle to appoint teachers at Hampton College. And the beauty of many of our teachers is the fact that they have well-established exam experience in that they've been teaching GCSE and A-level for many years. So the new specifications they've been teaching for some time, it's not new for them, they've not been out of the loop, they know exactly how to assess GCSE and A-level and prepare students for it. Many in fact are examiners for exam boards and so know the ins and outs and the intricacies of the courses and how to achieve. Linked to choices, we provide thorough information, advice and guidance to make sure that students are able to make the right choice at the right time for them. We set targets. They're targets that are aspirational for students to aim for and surpass. And of course we don't want to see the students fall by the wayside. We're constantly assessing and tracking and monitoring and putting in intervention if there's a time where we feel the student needs a bit of a push or a little bit of help. But we're also very proud of the fact that everybody at Hampton College works hard. It's, a, it's, it's one of our main drivers. Staff and students, they're committed, they're dedicated, and those who work the hardest do tend to do the best. But it, another reason why we do so well is the fact that we have partnership at the core of everything we do. Now partnership, whenever I speak to parents and give a presentation, I tend to start by saying that I see the best way to help a child through school is by looking at it as a triangle, with the child in one corner, the school in another corner, and the family in the third corner. And if we all work together, we can help move the child, reach their targets, and surpass expectations. And that's how I see partnership, really. That's how we all see partnership here. That's how we like to work. And you can see the quote from our last offset inspection, which, we, um, which was a couple of years ago, and they're also, I've dotted them in the presentation, you've probably spotted a few already. Uh, they say that uh, they're very appreciative, our students are very appreciative of the work of our teachers as they work together. And we're very lucky, we, but we also do work hard to maintain, to establish and maintain positive relationships with our, our, our parents, our feeder primary schools, and our trust, because of course we're part of the Hampton Academy's trust. Communication is essential, and we have open communication channels. We want to be able to pick up the phone, email, and uh, keep everyone working together. We have a house system, four houses, and within the house system we have a vertical tutoring system so that every tutor group has members from every year group. Um, we've had to collapse that at the moment uh, due to the COVID-19 restrictions, but when we get back to normal, we have that vertical system and that enables students to look after each other really. So our younger students, young, year seven for instance, would have older students, year 11, year 10, year eight, year nine, looking after them, looking out for them, helping them find their way, helping them with their homework even, uh, giving them advice and taking them under their wing. Uh, that's of course supported by our student services team, which is an outstanding team of people who look out for all of our youngsters um, in class and outside. We have a young carers uh, group, high profile actually, they've been in The Guardian, they've been on BBC News, they've been on radio, they've been on podcasts. It's a really, really vibrant group of young people who have extra responsibilities outside school. And of course, healthy eating 
and our Kachina catering service um, is very, very well received by our students. Now, positive behaviour for learning. We're proud of the standards of behaviour at Hampton College and that really comes down to our emphasis on positive behaviour. We have very high standards and expectations in all aspects of our school day. We provide many, many opportunities for our students to succeed. We offer points, prizes, recognition, heads commendations. We celebrate achievement, not just in class, not just in extracurricular activities, but outside school as well. We know our students are very busy. They get involved with many things, acting, gymnastics, football, sailing, you name it. And if they achieve and we know about it, we'll recognise it and bring them in in front of the, the staff in the staff room and celebrate. I'm very proud of the achievements of our talented students. Um, for that to happen, of course, we need you to tell us about it. Um, if we feel that a child's needing support, we'll contact home so that we can work together to make sure that their behaviour remains positive at all times. Um, it's all about manners, respect, um, kindness and care. And I really do think that uh, that really does independ underpin our school. However, if a child uh, is making the wrong decision um, and despite intensive help and support and meetings with parents uh, and, and, and every support mechanism that we can implement, um, if it's still not working, we will apply consequences because we believe the learning of all of our students takes priority. That leaves me with pride. Um, I feel extremely fortunate and privileged to be the head of Hampton College Secondary Phase. It's an honour. When I see the dedication and talent and commitment of everybody who comes to Hampton College every day, it's humbling. That quote, which I think does need reading out, um, does sum, sum it up for me. I find myself feeling genuinely emotional about the support my daughter has received from the school. You have some amazing people, teachers, leaders, who she will remember for the rest of her life, and I know she understands the difference they have made to her. Now, I'm very proud of this school. We take our reputation very seriously. We have a New Zealand All Blacks approach to um, the Hampton College badge. We leave the badge in a better place so when our students come in year seven, when they leave in year 11 or year 13, they'll, they'll, they'll leave the school in a better place than it was when they arrived. We all do our bit. We're all responsible for our reputation. We look good. We've worked very hard to make sure that our students um, look professional because we think it represents um, our values. Hello, I've got Josh here and Favour who are modelling our school winter uniform. Both of the students are wearing blazers, shirt and a school tie. Josh is wearing black trousers, he could also wear a dark charcoal grey if he wished. Favour is wearing our school skirt, she has also the option of wearing trousers should she wish. If you look very closely at our school tie, both of these students are in Sirius House. That's our red house. And both of the students therefore have a red diagonal stripe on their tie. If you look at their shoes, both students are wearing school shoes. What we ask is that the shoes are polishable and they have no logos on them at all. During the summer, students, if they wish, may wear a school logo polo shirt instead of their shirt and tie. I'm also very proud at the amount of extracurricular um, opportunities that we are able to offer our students. We're a very inclusive school and we want to broaden the offer to as many as we can. We offer curriculum and extracurricular trips to all our students um, and also many PE fixtures 
and activities run throughout the day and after school. Now, of course, last year's uh, activities were slightly curtailed due to the uh, pandemic, but the year before we ran over 75 trips for the equivalent of approximately 2,000 students. Now, trips included places such as Iceland, New York, geography field trips to, to Norfolk, uh, Wales, uh, history trips, gallery visits, conferences, university visits, and so on. In the future, we're hoping to launch our own Duke of Edinburgh award scheme. I used to run it at a previous school, so it's very dear to me, that um, scheme. And we were just about to launch um, an expedition opportunity to Africa on the day that we were asked to close. So hopefully that will come back in the future. Uh, the P department, very, very, very busy organising all sorts of clubs. We, we organise sport clubs at lunchtime for people who just want to keep fit and to enjoy a healthy lifestyle and to pick up a new hobby or skill. They're the kind of clubs that are on offer. We have coaching workshops to develop uh, um, sporting prowess. And uh, also we have representative teams, which we do very well at. Um, local schools, when they end up playing Hampton College, don't tend to look forward to it because they know they're gonna be in for a tough fixture. They're the teams that we normally run in year seven. It's not just sport, of course, music and drama, uh, the performing arts put on all sorts of extracurricular activities such as those. One particular highlight is our musical that we have around March time. And of course, our school year culminates with our enrichment week, which we hold in the last week of the summer term. Four days of activities um, to build confidence, to develop cultural capital, to develop self-esteem, um, to make new friends, to experience different things. And they involve res residential trips, both in this country and abroad, uh, day trips uh, to theme parks, Harry Potter Studios, for instance, and also uh, local activities or activities in school. Students get a brochure through the, the middle of the year to help them choose what they'd like to do. Now, of course, I'm going to say that this school is tremendous, I genuinely believe that. But don't just take my word for it. Have a look at what some of our Year 7s have been saying since they joined us three weeks ago. It's so nice to see that our Year 7s have settled so well. They are a really lovely year group and it's been wonderful wel welcoming them back, welcoming them to school, particularly after such disruption to the end of their Year 6 at primary school. Now as parents you will be concerned and anxious about your son or daughter. Will they be happy? Will they be safe? Well, we ask our parents at every parents' evening, what do you think? And we ask them these questions, and these are questions that Ofsted would ask parents during an inspection. And these are the results from the last complete year we were able to do this, 
from year seven parents the year before last. Unfortunately, for reasons you understand, we weren't able to do this last year. But I'm delighted to say that every score approval rating is 95% or more, and I would say about just under half are 100% full approval rating. And that's backed up with Ofsted, who say that our students um, know what to do if they're feeling uncomfortable, if they feel they're being bullied, for instance, they know what it is and what will happen um, and what to do and uh, that we will uh, take action. Now, I'm going to pass to Miss Price now, who's going to tell you how to apply for a place at Hampton College, whether you're at our own primary school or if you're from another school. My name's Helen Price and I'm the Executive Head Teacher of the Hampton Academies Trust. I'm just going to talk to you very briefly about school admissions. If you would like to apply for your child to enter Year 7 at Hampton College for next September, you need to do that online. Many of you will already have received a link from your child's primary school. If you haven't, you might want to go back to your primary school and ask for it, or you can apply directly by going to the website of the local authority which is either Peterborough City Council or Cambridgeshire County Council, depending on where you live. There's a deadline for applications, which is the 31st of October 2020. It's very important that you apply before the deadline because uh, applications that are late are actually then going to the back of the queue when the admissions criteria run. So that's very, very important to apply on time. The admissions criteria for Hampton College are listed in detail in our prospectus, which you also have a link to here on the website, and I suggest that you look at that. I'm not going to talk through all of the criteria, but they are largely based on distance. So many people ask us, what are the chances of my child being admitted to Hampton College? And that will largely relate to how close you live to the school. Um, there are 210 places in Year 7, but 60 of those places are reserved for children who are currently in Year 6 at Hampton College Primary. Those parents do not need to apply, they automatically progress through into Year 7 at Hampton College. For the remaining 150, um, which will be many of you watching this film, you apply online as described, and then if we have more students than 210 in total, then the local authority apply the criteria that are listed in the prospectus, so they rank order everybody, and the first 210 or the first 150 from outside would then be offered a place. We're not allowed to give you admissions advice about the rank order you should put for your choices. However, we're very happy to answer questions. So please do email in if you have a particular query or you're worried about how admissions work, and we will either return your email or we'll give you a call back. Thank you.